Now, if we move on to the vestibular spinal system, this system is tonically active. It's always firing. It's a fast acting system. It provides our anti-gravity activity, adapts our postural tone in response to gravity and displacement. So it's, it's providing our compensatory postural adjustments. It's also very important in head stability, eye tracking, and the coordination of that head and eye movement. It takes input, multisensorial input, as well as input from the cortex, and has output to many regions within the, um, within the central nervous system, having a medial tract, which is bilateral, innervating the cervical cord, and a lateral tract, which is ipsilateral, um, innervating the whole of the spinal cord. Our vestibular spinal system is predominantly responsible for our compensatory or our feedback or re reactive strategies, which serve as a mechanism of restoring the position of the center of mass after a perturbation has occurred. So we have a fixed support strategy, such as the ankle strategy and the hip strategy, and a change in support strategy, such as our stepping strategy or protective upper limb. So our ankle strategy repositions the center of mass by moving the entire body through the production of the ankle torque. It's now considered a dynamic multi-link strategy, including the activation of proximal muscles. So in upright standing, this ankle strategy is usually sufficient to correct small deviations in our center of mass and is primarily adopted during less demanding balance tasks. Whereas our hip strategy controls the center of mass by producing large and rapid motion at the hip joints with anti-phase rotations at the ankle. Again, used to restore balance when the perturbation is rapid, generally larger in amplitude, and if the support surface is short relative to the foot length. We use a reach or a step when our fixed support strategies are insufficient to recover postural equilibrium. We need to realign the base of support under the center of mass. In many conditions, our stepping or our reaching occurs well before the center of mass approaches the limits of stability with respect to the base of support. These strategies can be under voluntary control and are influenced by the initial conditions such as safety and location of the new support.